Hello everyone and welcome to Kaya Creations Cards. Today I am creating a video for the video blog hop hosted by Martha. Um, our theme this week is, or well, this month, is Halloween. Now just recently I've been inspired by a couple of cards I've created. One was the Creep It Real Brush Your Fangs and this one was Have a Haunted Halloween. Now I've been inspired by the colours from this one and this gorgeous set of fangs from Creep It Real. So we'll pop these out of the way for now and then I'll show you what I was inspired to create. This fabulous little treat bag. Turn it over and look. We can see the lollies inside with the fangs. Isn't that wonderful? And that's what we're going to make today. We'll be using the Spooky Nights DSP which is available in the holiday catalogue. Also along with our Creep It Real stamp set. Now what I've done to start with, excuse me while I pop these out of the way, is I've stamped my image onto thick white cardstock. I've then coloured it with uh, aqua painters. I have then put clear embossing powder over the top and cut it out. The clear embossing powder over the top just makes it nice and firm. Now what else we'll be using today is our jute twine, also from the catalogue, the holiday catalogue. We'll be using our tag topper punch, I've already made these, and this is what I use to make them. The tag topper, scallop tag topper punch. I've used the boo sentiment from Creep It Real down here. Okay, so moving on, I'll grab a piece of DSP, which has been cut. Oh, this is the other thing we're going to, be going to be using. Oh, isn't that awesome? The gift bag punch board. Now what I've done is I've cut a piece of DSP in half, and then I've trimmed it to 25.4, it says here, but I've made it exactly 25.5 centimetres. Now be aware that this is going to be this way so make sure that whatever your pattern is if it's hats you really don't want your hats running that way along the bag or you don't want your pumpkins running that way along the bag you want your pumpkins to be looking the right way and also this will make the bottom of your bag so if you want your pumpkins up the right way and not upside down make sure you've got it facing the right way now, all the instructions are written on here it took me a couple of times to get it the right way and I still make mistakes so don't be afraid to just play with it. Our first thing we're going to do is line up this line here on here. I'll just pop this out of here because I need it. And then we're going to punch. We're going to score and then we're going to use the small line. Okay, That's our very first thing that we do. Then we're going to move that up, that score line we just made, to here. We're going to punch the horizontal line, and now we're going to make our side, the very first side of the bag. And then we're going to make the second line for the side. Okay, so that's the second part that we do. We move this last score line up to the start, punch again, do our horizontal line across here, and then our small for the small size bag because that's what we're making a small bag today then again once we've done that bit we're going to make the last side so we punch here score we make our triangle shape again okay and then we do this small piece uh, side two sorry here side two my mistake then we go for the one last punch. We're lining up this last little score line, like so, and punching. Popping this out of the way. Look at that. Doesn't they look like little witch's hats? I'm going to keep them, I think. They might come in handy for something, a decoration. Now, what we do now is we're just going to trim these here to make a little tab, like so. Bring our punch board back in, 
turn this over and we're going to put our holes in for our jute. Now, this is what we, on our first score, here, we miss the second score line and go to the third, fourth, miss the fifth and go to the sixth, and then the very end, like so. And we have perfectly lined up holes, one can only hope praying and everything like that and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to burnish these lines quickly you can do it with your finger that's all it takes we're going to just make sure they're all uh, bending the right way like so and now also our center for our bag sides don't have to be great but just to reinforce the fact that they're there it's like memory foam you put a fold in cardboard and it stays there forever now what we need to do is make a hole for our little gums so we're going to use our layering circles dies now another tip, if you want to run the, and cut a shape out through the big shot, use the small sizing on your big shot machine, uh, on your card, gift bag, because any more than 15 centimetres and it won't fit through your big shot. And I think this is the size we'll need here, being that this is the bottom of the bag. I'm just going to position here roughly where I want that. Draw a little circle and I'll be back in just a second. I'll run this through. got our circle punched out that off to the side I might use that for something else later pop our layering circles off to the side out of the way now what I need to do is I need to glue this into position so I'll get my Tombow glue my handy Tombow glue because this remains sticky for such a long time it's really good glue to adhere anything with like this. Sorry, I hope you can hear me. It just means if it starts to lift, you can press it back down. All right. Now I'm just going to spread that out a little. Wipe my finger on a wipe I have handy. And I'm going to just like so. Press that together. Now while that's drying, I can use my fast fuse here. I think I'll push that off to the side somehow. Probably with my tick. And a deer. Like so. Just by closing this and lining that up. That is our bag. We've got the makings of our bag happening. Isn't that awesome? So simple. Now, so my bag stays shut, I'm going to put some fast fuse just along the bottom strip here, like so. Here, here, and here. I'll pop something in there just to make sure it's Got it. Now to fill it, I am going to use some candy. What I did was used a card bag. I'm sure we've all got our card bags that we put our cards in to keep safe when we're posting. I know I use plenty of them. Now I'm just going to fill it, not all the way, only a little bit.
and that's probably more than enough. I'm going to strip this piece here. Okay. And I'm going to push these candies over like so. And then I'm going to just fold them. They look pretty. I love these candies. Okay, all that's left to do is use the jute twine to tie this off. Where is my tag? I made a couple of tags here a while ago. And I thought I had my boo just here. Ah, here it is. This is the boo. And our jute twine. So we're going to thread this through. Like so. I what the boo would look like on the front. Hmm. Maybe I'll put it on the front over the top. We'll see what it looks like just to be different. I just love this. It's so gorgeous. I love Halloween. Halloween, Halloween. We've only just really started participating in Halloween here in Australia and it's not anywhere to the extent that it is in other countries. You know, it's just we do it basically just for our kids. Take our kids around. We don't egg houses yet. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> okay, so we tie our jute, pop our boo on. Never put any good at tying bows on camera. Now I'm just going to tie a knot over that. To start with. Okay, to hold that in place. Now, how is that going to work? I have to go over and voila, we have a little boo. Hmm. Maybe it does look better on the back. Either way. Yeah, it looks better on the back, but you get the idea. Happy Halloween, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Bye for now.